Well, let's take a look at uh, summarizing um, all these uh, scores we have here. These are grades, and I've put 1 through 210. And um, I want to, I think I did, s I'll start at 50. So um, what I can do is put my bin levels in the uh, column B. Uh, bin levels are your upper upper um, class limits. So I could do 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, and um, 50. Actually, there shouldn't be any 50s, I don't think. But, um, okay. And once you got that in there, then click your data tab. Click data analysis. And we'll choose histogram. Click OK. In the input range, we want to put our A1 colon A210, where I put my data. In our bin range, I can uh, type it in, or I can click this little button to the right of it. It allows me to come over here and click and hold down my left mouse button and drag down where I want to go. And I click this red button to go back. And it puts that in there for me. Uh, you put labels on there if you want. Um, chart output. If I put chart output and then click OK. <coughs> then it gives us this. Oh, there was some 50s, wasn't there? So, um, gives us the bin level. Now, you have to recognize um, the format this is in. This is maybe not how you want it to read. So, I might want to change this. Instead of 100 being here, maybe I want to say 99, 91 to 100. Like that. Um, maybe here, I want to say 81 to uh, 99. Wait a minute, to 90. Okay, I'll wake up here eventually. Okay, 71 to 80. 61 to um, 70. 51 to 60. And 41 to 50. I suppose the only reason there's any of these is there must have been some 50s in there. Um, or you could set up whatever range ranges you want. Again, the bins are your upper class limits. And just like before, you can uh, change whatever you want on here. Um, you could go into your um, layout. There it is, layout and design, and uh, modify those. But anyway, that's that's good enough for what I'm looking for. Obviously, you don't want to say bin. Um, that's how you'd summarize summarize uh, data. And uh, 